What's up, Cardinals? It's your girl Camille. I'm Lorraine. Welcome back to your daily announcements. How are you doing today, Lorraine? I'm doing pretty good, Camille. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm glad. Victor Sports registration is open. You must register online in order to try out or participate in any sport at CRHS. Contact Miss Lacey with any questions. Running club is starting. We'll be meeting Thursdays at 2.35 starting on November 11th in Ms. Johnson's room 110. We will discuss the direction of cl the club, plan for the week, and hopefully go for a run if the weather permits. Spread the word for those wanting to make friends and have a group to run with this summer. Fresh club is back. We, we. <laughs> we will meet on Tuesday, November 2nd and to eat a snack and discuss the direction of French club. Come to room 315 at 2.30. Hey, hey, Cardinal Nation, do you like to party? How about party planning? The prom committee is looking for members to help plan prom 2022. Please contact Miss Anderson with any questions. Do you speak a language other than English? Take the bilingual SEAL test. It is a language proficiency test that can earn you up to 20 college credits. It tests your listening, reading, writing, and speaking abilities. Fall test dates are Monday, November 15th, and Monday, November 22nd at the district ESC at 3.30. You must provide your own transportation and you must register at least five days before the test date. Cost is $30 or $10 for students who qualify for free and reduced lunch. College military workforce requisites during lunch in the cafeteria. Tuesday, November 2nd, Air Force. Wednesday, November 3rd, U.S. Army Reserves. Thursday, November 4th, Carroll University, Century College, Minnesota State University, Moorhead, and St. Catherine University. It's time for lunch. Today's lunch will be spicy chicken tenders. All right, guys, you already know what it is. That was your daily announcements. Camilla Lorraine's out here. <laughs>
Ghibli really had a great game against Eden Prairie. The very next play, he bounces to the outside and fights for a first down. Ghibli's great, but the Eagles clearly made it a priority to stop him no matter how many guys it took. That led to a Cardinal shot at the end zone and a scary play near the end of the first quarter. Du Bois looking for Jared Fearing. He gets upended, stayed down, and would leave the field on a cart. Eagles back on the attack in the second fake pitch. Nick Fozzie going up top this time. Great adjustment for Frost to make the catch down inside the five. That leads to another rushing touchdown. This time it's Noah Erkness. From the, they had 13 different players who carried the ball. None of them compared to this one. This is one of the best runs I've seen in 25 years of high school football. David Ghibli just refuses to go down, dragging guys with him. He finished with 20 carries and 109 yards, but he can't do it all. Cardinals forced to throw. Great read from Eden Prairie's Ja'Cory Bates. Jumps the route, gets the pick, puts the offense on a short field, and they jump at the opportunity. Very next play, Fozzie airing it out. Finding Michael Cross behind the defense, the 35-yard score made it 29-0, Eden Prairie at the half. Fourth quarter started with running time, but the Cardinals make it stop by getting on the board. Josh Dubois over the middle to Josh Cullen. His first catch of the season helps the Cardinals avoid the shutout, but the season ends with a 36-6 loss at the hands of Eden Prairie. The Cardinals lost a three-set match to the Bengals early in the season, but Coach Janine Crooks felt they played them strong. The Cardinals had nothing to lose, and if they could keep it close and get some bounces to go their way, they felt they had a chance to upset the mighty Bengals. Coon Rapids gets exactly the start it needs in the first set, putting the Bengals on their heels early. Soraya Ray hammers the attack off the block to the point here, and the Cardinals lead in the early going. The Bengals drew even at eight all, but the Cardinals don't give up the lead. Solid serve and receive set up for Michaela Wilbur midcourt. She finds the hole in the defense. Coon Rapids stays in front. But the Bengals get on a roll just after that, and they keep the momentum the rest of the way. Zoe Smith with a block at the net helps Blaine take set one, 25-12. Similar story in the second. Cardinals get in front early and able to play with the lead. Chloe Hoffman with a huge stuff block. She had a pair of blocks to go with five kills against Blaine. Well, Cardinals kept it close mid, in, into the mid-teens, but the Bengals just too much power from too many places. After Hanson's attack is returned, they go to Natalie Schmitz. She leaves no doubt. Bengals take the second set, 25-17. Bengals looking to sweep up in the third, but the Cardinals keep fighting to the end. Solid strike by Tatum Shevchuk for the kill right here. Nice play there by Tatum, but the Bengals pull away in the third for the most convincing victory of the night. Final point comes down to a quick play at the net, and that Cardinals can't control. Blaine moves on with a 25-11 win in the third, ending the Cardinals' season with a 3-18 record.